Hey guys, for this week's tech tips, I'm going to show you three new tools in Google Hangouts. So here I'm in a Google Hangout, and the first tool I'm going to show you is the Blur Background feature. This just came out actually on our domain today. Um, so you notice I work in an office where there are people um, behind me, and if I were presenting or uh, teaching students in here, I may want to make sure that nothing slips into that background that I don't want them to see. So down in the bottom right hand corner, you have this little snowman that says more options. When you click on it, there's a button that says turn on blur background. What that's going to do is it's going to do kind of a facial recognition thing where it finds me and makes me uh, focused and then everything in the background uh, is really blurry so they can't see what's going on back there. So great new feature. Check it out. The second feature I'm going to show you guys today is they've added some new moderator uh, moderation features under the people. So if you go up to the people where you would normally see all your students here, there's still the add, add people button and then to the right of that is a host controls button. You can now turn on the ability to uh, share your screen to participants and you can turn on send or off send chat messages. So you can turn the chat on or off for everyone or share screen on or off for everyone. This is an all or nothing thing so you can't do an individual person in the meeting. It's, it's all, all the people or none of the people. And those uh, host controls go to the first person in the meeting. So you want to make sure you're the first person in the meeting in order to have the host controls. The third new feature in Google Meet that came out on our domain on Wednesday is Tile View. So um, it used to be that we had to use a grid view extension in Google uh, Meet in order to uh, show the, all the students in a class. They've recently updated that, so now when we go to that snowman in the bottom right hand corner again and we go to change layout, and you can select tiled view just like before. However, at the very bottom you see the slider and it tells you in multiples uh, how many people to view. Um, so you can turn it all the way up to 49 people in a meeting or all the way down to 6 people in the tile view. Um, just be cautious because if your internet connection is not great and you turn it up to 49 people it's really going to bog your connection down so that your audio and stuff gets kind of screwy. So if you're having issues with your connection when you have it set to 49 turn it down to a more manageable number for your internet connection. Alright, thanks for checking in. Have a good week guys.